me again, crazy bag lady. I would show you the outside world and how cold it is, but as you can see, Jack Frost has filled my window in. Look at that. Can't even see out my window. It is so, so cold and frosty out there. But thank Crunchy, it's Friday. Mm, right, let's have a look at calendar of the day. I've just done all my makeup. Don't forget these are on offer, £7.50. Even my mum was saying on the phone last night, I absolutely love that Avon foundation. It's wonderful. Trust us. It's so good. Right, okay. Don't forget my little Avon shop. The link is down below. So, are you okay there, little piggy? Hello, everybody. Right, let's have a look. So, Friday. Oh, it's Santa. Live and work, but do not forget to play, to have fun in life, and really enjoy it. Oh, that's so cute. Happy Friday. Right, breakfast. Ta -da! So, breakfast this morning, we've got 45 grams of uh, special K granola, which is absolutely gorgeous and chopped banana and i'm going to have it with skim milk so the chopped banana not chopped banana the granola is my b box for the day and my skimmed milk is my a box for the day are you okay there little dolly i know exactly what you're trying to tell me i put treats in that little thing there that little kong and it takes her ages to get them out of it but she likes it and i think she's trying to tell me that her kong is empty i need to fill it up lipstick of the day here we am with me new hair <laughs> so i've curled it a bit fluffed it up so i think it looks a little bit better uh so lipstick of the day say it is on these new avon lipsticks i love them so much i'd like to try some of the other colors as well so i've got this one and a slightly darker one so this one is called hydra blush so i think the color is just blush because they're called like hydra matte lipsticks it's really nice it's like a pinky sort of color probably a bit summery but it's nice to brighten up a cold morning so i'm not sure when they're coming out but they're bloody brilliant i love them so much and this morning i i am going church shopping or at least i think i am but look at the frost Ooh, it's absolutely freezing out there i think the roads will be all right because i'm going on main roads so they should be gritted and stuff but look at it it's absolutely freezing oh right so i haven't washed up i haven't emptied my dishwasher i have made my bed I haven't emptied the wash basket which is full to the brim do you know what sod it we're going charity shopping Woo as long as we don't slip over in the ice so outfit of the day i'm all in black big black boots black leggings black wool polo neck, little Mulberry bag, very, very thick teddy coat and little teddy gloves from Zara. Um, I'm not really warm enough as such, but when I go to a shopping, I get so hot. So I've not worn another layer, which I would do if I was staying at home. So let's go. And also look at all my Christmas cards. These are all going out to my lovely subscribers. Everybody that's emailed me, your Christmas cards will be on their way. We've arrived. So I nearly got squashed by a lorry on the way here, but we've made it. <laughs> right, let's go shopping. Oh, 
Sorry. <laughs> the 
last because of lockdown, they keep doing that. So, you know, you know, you know, you know,
in the car oh, we've been so busy shopping we may have bought a few little bits and bobs <laughs> did struggle to carry it all <laughs> so i've got a bit of ham to nibble on for my dinner and a lovely drink so let's go home so on the way back i'm just stopping to post all my christmas cards 
and there is one chair shop here so if it's open I'll have a quick look while we're having a chair shop day in the car right get me home <laughs> i'm ready for a cup of coffee i'm home so i've made myself a nice cup of coffee in me i love shopping mug look at me zara gloves this is the first time i've ever worn them and they fell apart as you can see all the stitching has come undone and the fake first off has started to come off not very good really is it for 18 pound that's why you can't be really buying second hand i should really send them back it's so rubbish so anyway i'm going to have my coffee and then we'll have a look what we bought <laughs> oh my gosh winifred <laughs> could you be any more snuggly wuggly if you possibly tried oh you cute little bundle of fluff you're so cute right are you ready? What did we buy? What did we buy? Can you guess what we bought? <laughs> Can you guess? Okay, so so I got this, which is a mango top, and I think it's probably missing its little pool things. Um, as you can see, there's a little hole. I think it should have like a drawstring, but it's really like loose, baggy fitting. I got it for the summer, and I thought, you know, with like high waisted trousers and shorts the lighting is not very good i don't think you can really see um i think it's gonna look absolutely amazing i tried it on i loved it so much i'm so excited about it i got this it's a trench coat so it's a coat hmm, probably classes as a coat don't it and i've got coats but it's a trench coat and i haven't got a trench coat so it's a principles one it was 20 pound which i think is too much but i think it is new i can see the belts still fastened onto the belt loop and it's still got like the new buttons and stuff inside but it's slightly different i think it's like a more modern trench coat so it's got a split at the sides rather than at the back um it's still got like the nice flap thing on the back nice big chunky buttons you know like normal trench coats mm -hmm. have but it's just i don't know i liked it but it was 20 pounds but then i think jane it's for the hospice you know there's poorly people in there and these hospices aren't run by the government they are run on funding you never know if you might need to, to use one touch wood hopefully nobody does but if you do they're there for you so 20 pounds for a damn good cause isn't it uh next in my bag they gave me a christmas bag i was walking around with this and unbelievably as well this will make you laugh i actually had a selfie or a photo took with santa i gave them a donation and had my photo took with them i try and put it on instagram i look really embarrassed but i really wanted to do it it's so funny so me and santa had a picture very exciting it's nearly christmas you know <laughs> right what else did we buy i bought another coat please don't laugh it's a grey one and it's a tesco one it's a wool mix but i thought you know as you get to spring and you just wanted like a coat that you can throw on this is that sort of coat and i just love them it's kind of oversized with pockets and again it's got different splits at the back it's got one either side rather than one in the middle i just loved it, it so nice i got this because it's so fluffy so it's a uh, marks and spencer's um is it angora yeah angora cardigan 
So it just sort of hangs down a bit like a waterfall cardigan, but it's so fluffy. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Look, I love fluffy things. I love them. Um, I got this, which is really cute. So this is a Christmas jumper, but it says Santa's favourite on it. So it was so funny. I'm definitely going to wear this before Christmas. I just loved it. It was so cool. And I didn't really buy that much because this is the last thing I bought, clothes-wise. And I got this. Another go, <laughs> I bet you're all laughing. So this is a vintage um, Easter Tex coat made in England. It's 100% uh, mohair, so it's really, really old. Look, it's all vintagey and old. It doesn't smell because I sniffed it because sometimes the old stuff smells a bit fusty. You have to be careful when you buy old coats. Um, it's really, really warm. It has got issues. The lining is slightly damaged, so I'm gonna have to fix it. And then the bottom of it, the hems come down, somebody's actually fastened it up with tape, <laughs> which I find hilarious. So whether my mum can do it, my mum's very good at like invisible stitching. Um, but you know what? It is an absolutely beautiful coat. And the fact it doesn't smell and it's not dirty. And I just thought it was so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it when it's on. The fit of it was just so nice. It's made in England. It's just old. And I just loved it. Um, and also, weirdly enough, in one of the other charity shops, there was another coat very, very similar to that one, which was a, it was a better make. I can't remember what make it was, but it was a good make. Um, and the lady tried it on while I was in there. And she was like, what do you think? I was like, yeah, buy it. I've just bought one very similar. So she bought that as well. So we both got new coats. Um, I also bought a few little random things. I bought this, which I just thought was so good. So it's... Um, a facial massage bar. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but it was one pound fifteen. I thought, yeah, I kind of get that in the morning, plump your little face up a bit, and I thought, mm, for one pound fifteen, I want to get that. I got this, which is really really cute. I love it. I thought you can put it on one of your coats. It would make a real statement. So it's a brooch. I think it could be that Tatty Divine. She does a lot of stuff like this. Um, it's really really cute. And then I got these which I just loved I don't buy many ornaments or I try not to um, but I got these so it's literally just a little bird very very simple but very nice I only really wanted him but he was sat with him and they came as a pair and I thought well, how can you leave him behind so I got both um, but they're just so cute as you can see so this is the one with legs this is the one without legs don't know whether he's perhaps had legs and they're missing um, I'm not really sure but and they were $1.99 for both. You can't go wrong, can you? So that was it. That was my shopping trip. So I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this. Might be the last one. For... No, it won't be the last one before Christmas, will it? Where I do a full day one. I love full day ones. So interesting. But obviously I have to end my vlog here. Otherwise the video will be too long. So many, 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 many thanks for joining me again. I hope you've enjoyed it. So if you do enjoy shopping, Santa, Christmas, try shopping, dogs, whatever else we get up to, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is three fluffles. My website is down below. My little Avon shop is also down below. So I love you, leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.